Yeah, they are, and it's just going to get worse. And I'll let Kevin Janison deal with the exact numbers uh, in a little bit. But I can tell you that tomorrow it's going to start getting seriously toasty around here. And that means anybody who has to spend the day working outside, like the construction workers here at Raiders Stadium, well, they need to be careful. If you work construction in Las Vegas, you can work construction anywhere. That's because on a triple-digit afternoon, whether it's putting down asphalt or walking around on scorching steel, the intense heat we'll see this week is as much a health hazard as anything on a construction site. Well, when you got workers on highway jobs and you got workers on the top of the stadium, so, you know, it's always about keeping the workers cool. Tommy White with the Laborers Union says they started getting prepared a couple of weeks ago with some cool construction bling. These go on the top of your hard hat, cross covering the back of your neck, again, to keep your neck cool. And even something they'll try for the first time that's kind of like a popsicle. This is a neck cooler. And this is frozen. This is frozen right now, lasts about three hours. Wrap it around your neck. It keeps you nice and cool, right? And as the ice melts? As the ice melts, you just kind of pop it off, and you can take a drink out of it. Hydration is also something NDOT thinks about. What we do is we make sure that all the workers are properly hydrated uh, to the tune of going through 7,000 water bottles a day during the peak construction activity during the heat of summer. But NDOT has a love-hate thing with the heat since it needs to be 80 degrees and rising for Pavapalooza's rubber crumb asphalt. We stay in touch with the uh, meteorologists and National Weather Service, keep tabs on the forecasts, uh, and that definitely does have an impact on whether we could do certain activities, including paving. So it's always a good idea to know the warning signs for heat stroke. They include dizziness, muscle cramps, vomiting, and a lack of sweat when it's hot outside. And uh, it's certainly going to be that way through the end of the week. And again, Kevin will have more on that for us. Reporting live from Raiders Stadium, Steve Wolford, News 3. Back to you. All right, Steve, thank you for that. And